we continue bringing news of outreach events of the Church of Christ in partnership with the Felix Wyman Olive Foundation. And the ongoing mission to combat poverty reaches even the most remote places worldwide, like in Vanuatu, remote Pacific islands with residents lacking basic necessities and access to primary health care. Outreach efforts have made a positive impact by providing much needed assistance to those in need. Christine Effenier brings us the story. Vanuatu is a country of islands in the southwestern Pacific Ocean, consisting of a chain of 13 principal islands and many smaller islands. The name Vanuatu means our land forever. Only 25% of the people live in the urban areas with the majority living off the land and not earning income to afford the rising costs of goods and medical services. Here in Vanuatu, there is a significant lack of medical resources and staff reflected by the high ratio of only eight doctors to every 10,000 people. This is where the Church of Christ and its charitable partner, the Felix Y. Manalo Foundation, have taken steps to address this dire situation. I really want to tell him thank you. Firstly, Lord God, thank you, Lord God, we shall make him. And we are available for meeting all the different uh, members of the congregation of this community. We have uh, people from uh, overseas who come in to Vanuatu as missionaries, but uh, they don't normally do what you have done this afternoon. It's uh, unique of its own since. I've been here, I've never seen one like this. The Felix Y. Manalo Foundation provided bags of goods like rice, canned food, salt and noodles. Uh, it, it helps us on uh, uh, some of our meals at home. In rural, uh, it's, uh, the prices are too high. Also provided were reading glasses, something too expensive for many residents like Nelly. Thank you, thank you too much. Look at us when we take him. We still have a house, we don't move up. Then we have a little bit of a car, we clap Thank you too much. Medical professionals from Australia also provided free medical advice. <laughs> Any pain when you're sitting down, not moving? I have pain, and the uh, doctor will give me some medicine so that they can help me. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your heart. Support. There you go, brother. We help, we help the people of the areas. So thanks very much for your your coming to help a life too. And the Care for Humanity project did not stop in this one island of Vanuatu, but continued to the capital city of Port Vila, and also to the island of Tana, where the Church of Christ donated funds to provide residents with safe drinking water. Many of these residents are returning attendees from past Care for Humanity events. Timothy remembers meeting members of the Church of Christ for the first time in 2018. A very respectful. Uh, so we get our reading classes and uh, meet the doctors and then they give us a uh, box and they say tomorrow we have a uh, worship service. The love and concern he felt at the Care for Humanity event moved Timothy to learn more about the Iglesia de Cristo Church of Christ. When I entered the worship service, I saw the ladies uh, to the right and the men on the other side. I said, well, this is uh, first when I saw. How can you prove that you believe according to the Bible. The Bible said... Timothy also noticed another difference with Church of Christ worship services. The first time I saw that, the question and answer about the Bible. The Bible gave me the answer. Now a baptized member and officer, he's eager for many of his countrymen to learn more about the Church of Christ. Yes, I want them to experience what I have experienced. And they will hear and they will know that if they have question, the Bible will answer their question.
Not only are humanitarian works intensively carried out in Vanuatu, but also the sharing of God's words. In conjunction with the Care for Humanity events, the Church of Christ conducted baptisms for those who completed the six-month process of joining the church. Baptisms were held in Espiritu Santo and for the first time in Tana Island. Amen. They've seen the difference because in the Church of Christ, the ministers are not telling stories about something or about themselves, but are reading the Bible, teaching them what really the Bible is saying, and they've seen that the ministers in the Church of Christ continue to to uh, teach them the truth, and the church, uh, local congregations at GWS are still established and growing. From Port Villa in 2017, the Church of Christ has grown to nine group worship services across three islands in Vanuatu, and as the number of members grow, many have taken up various duties in the church, including the duty of choir member. Today marked the first choir practice for trainees here in Vanuatu. To you, in the rendering of thanks to you. They've never actually seen us choir member before, you could really feel how much they were longing for someone to visit them, uh, to teach them, to really train them, uh, because they have such a desire to sing to the Lord. Through that eagerness, they were able to, to really learn. The Church of Christ continues to tend to the needs of newly baptized members, but do not turn a blind eye to the everyday needs of the Ni Vanuatu. And I can see the needs of the people around this place because it's far from town. Actually, there are no stores around or establishments for the basic needs of the people. I talk with the church elders in here and they welcome the church. Actually, uh, they registered as Bible students now. Because everywhere we go, we can see people who are really in need. Well, the church administration, to the leadership of our executive minister, Brother Eduardo Manal, is uh, fulfilling the teachings that we receive inside the Church of Christ, that if there are people who are in need, we should help them. Thank you from Brother Edward with Manalo is having me through church. Also, wish him, uh, uh, Brother Edward with Manalo, a happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday, Brother Edward with Manalo. We, we are very glad and uh, thankful because you help us in our faith and uh, you, you show us uh, love for Baba God to us and you, we remain in the church until the end. We promise. From Vanuatu, Christine Jan Afanir, Worldwide Ling Up, Samoa Mayan coverage. Well, that does it for us on INC News World. Tune in every Sunday for new episodes on INC TV and every Saturday on INCmedia.org, our YouTube channel, and on streaming platforms. I'm Richard Ferreira. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time. God bless. <laughs>